All right, cake. I never get tired of hearing that. I'm the alternative. Nice six five. The buzz. Your big fat wing buzz. Pantry Danny boy coming up on the program. Danielle Staub from the Real Housewives of New Jersey. And then you guys know a lot about her. I talked to her about a minute about her stripping in her sex club, and you guys know uh, a lot about Danielle. I want to keep it on that level. She wants to talk about her new VH1 series, which I'm not What's interested she, why in. Why does she have a new VH1 series? It's about food, like she eats. The bitch doesn't eat. I've seen her. She doesn't eat. So she'll be on the program later. Pump your breast milks for your opportunity to pick up Buzz Beach Ball tickets. But joining us now, I follow you on Twitter, Brian. Hello. Brian Boy, local filmmaker. Mm-hmm. And you're working on a movie. It's a, it's a documentary. It's called Famous Last Words. Okay. Um, what it is, it's... It, it's kind of well. First of all, welcome. It's nice I, to meet you. I, thank you. You're I, adorable. I, thank you. I, I love like there'll be times where I'm mowing my lawn out in the suburbs on Sunday morning and I'm listening to a Fenter play The Cure, and, Resurrection and, Sunday, and, and Sex Pistols, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, mowing and kicking ass. So, so Good. that that began our love affair. So. All right. Well, it's and for me on Twitter. Yeah. Because uh, you're pretty entertaining. Thank you very At much. At Best Boy with thank an you. E. That's He's right. my other boy in my life, you Johnny got an Boy. E and an I. No uh-huh. Y though. No, no Y. No, yet. Y. no I got an E and an I. No. <laughs> Sometimes. Danny why. Boy, Brian Boy, Brian Boy, Danny Boy. That's right. Thank All right. You. So uh, you contacted me and you're doing this uh, documentary called Famous Last Words, which I thought was interesting, uh, very interesting. Number one, but also uh, how? Uh, tell us a little bit about before I ask my question. Well, the, the documentary overall is. Uh, it examines what happens when somebody has a conversation with somebody, whether they know it or not, for the very last time. Okay. You know, for instance, like, what did you say? What was the last thing you said before you rolled out of the house this morning? Well, Lil Laz was asleep, right? Lil Laz was asleep. Uh, the girl that comes so and helps us. So she said, F you, you lazy <laughs> <master>. <laughs> right. Something along right. those lines. Right. Imagine That's my that. fear. Right. That is my fear, Brian. Like, my last word. My, my, I'm a pretty negative person, mm-hmm. really. Uh, and I'm usually, you know pretty catty so when you said i know exactly i try not to be it just like is inherent as much as i want to be a good person and say and do the right thing it doesn't come out right it never comes out right i'm always constantly saying she was a flaming (laughs) sea right it just (laughs) happens it's like it's inside of me and when you were telling me about famous last words i was like i thought about i don't remember uh i knew the people that did pass i knew they were gonna die so what i said was nice Mm -hmm. you know what i mean and then after they're gone they're like you're like, ah. <laughs> no, I didn't do all that. I'm glad that son of a bitch died. I'm so glad. No, it wasn't like that. But uh, the, I think the part that would probably be crazy, and you can help me, and you're looking for stories, is when someone dies and you don't know they're ill. Or, like you're not expecting it. Not that you ever expect it. Even when they, you know, you know, they have cancer, or you know that they're going to die. They're given so much time. You know, um, I don't think you ever really fully prepare or expect it but at least you're on your best behavior well the kind of the origin of the whole project starts in 2000 Uh um and uh me and a bunch of my fraternity buddies got the chance to go sing the national anthem at a chicago white Sox game okay so a bunch of us like there are four of us that were alumni we graduated we all had real jobs we're all like you know professional right and uh (laughs) four of us like drive up in this oldsmobile uh sing like we leave omaha at uh, midnight drive to chicago Sing the national anthem, leave at the seventh inning stretch, drive back to Nebraska that night. Uh-huh. Well, one of the guys that was in the car with me was my friend Bill, and he was he was one of my three best friends in the world. I was in his wedding, he was in mine. Okay, like he was that guy. Like I need a truck, I got a truck. Let's go. Mm-hmm. A real um, friend, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um. So, uh, and the other thing is that every year we have this party at my mom's house in small town Nebraska, which is hilarious when thirty people roll into a town of two hundred. Uh huh. So uh, I said, well, you know, I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. You know, I miss you, buddy. I love you. He said, I love you too hugged each other walked away okay um then four weeks later i was working in radio at the time and i i came across an ap wire thing that said bill rundle of hastings nebraska is missing since wednesday okay and um that was how i found out um bill had taken a friend of his to go pick up a set of keys at her parents house they were driving back she called her boyfriend on the phone said we're on our way we're making good time we'll meet you at the bar at 12 30 nobody ever heard from him again um, what had happened was that they'd slid off the road and taken, driven the Jeep into like this body of water okay. and got buried and they couldn't find it. Well, they didn't find the Jeep and the bodies for another two years. It took them that long took to them find two years to find it because of the drought of the water, the drought dropped the water table. So that the corner of the Jeep kind of peeked out of the water, uh-huh. but it was like the biggest story, you know, in you know, South Central Nebraska for an entire summer. Okay. There was an episode of unsolved mysteries about it. Like where did Bill and Tracy go? Right. So I've always been really fortunate that the last words I said to Bill were, I, I love, love you. you. Yeah. 
which has always and then which by the way homo (laughs) (laughs) total total homo i love that oh yeah uh, i love that you did that well Uh he was like he was that guy right and if you because i don't uh normally hear men friends being i love you mad well i'm a filmmaker Uh you are a little artsy (laughs) a little sugar in your tank i know that's why i like mr hollywood liberal (laughs) that's true (laughs) well and around the same time um there was a, a married couple driving down the interstate and these kids or no they were they were engaged driving down the interstate these kids dropped a paving stone off a bridge and went through the front window and killed her okay and i've always wondered what are you talking about when that happened uh-huh. is i it, have no idea what you're talking about right. is it I, is it i love you i, I can't wait until we get married is you're not I, getting sex yes is that, it, you're not getting sex is it, i hate you i want to break up with you right, is right, it, right. i want to have beans and weenies or macaroni and cheese tonight? right bam gone uh-huh. the end so that's what this documentary is about it so is, you are looking for also stories Stories of good and bad. Okay. Um, stories where you really kind of have an issue with how you left things. One of sure. my friends, uh, the last thing a friend of his ever said to him were, you stole from me. Uh-huh. And then the next day the kid was hit by a car and died. Jesus, you feel terrible. Right. He okay. says, I've never stolen anything in my life. Now, another gal who's a, an actress and a performer here in town, um, her mom was on her, you know, was in and out of kind of lucidity as she was in the later stages of her life. Uh-huh. And she said, well, you need to tell me. You know, what's what's the big life lesson? She goes, you know, I always wanted to go to Europe. I never went to Europe. She goes, don't be afraid to do the things that make you happy. Okay. And, and she quit her corporate job, started singing and performing and acting. And now she's been in major motion pictures. She's going on a little mini West Coast tour with a okay. little duet. So she, she, all because of her all because last her words with her mom. Her said, don't be afraid. To d- just live life. Right. Yeah. So, so so I'm looking for stories on all ends of the spectrum. Okay. We are talking to Brian Boy. He's a local filmmaker here in town, and he's making a documentary called Famous Last Words, and I thought it was really interesting, just because I know mine would be just heart-wrenching. <laughs> it's just like, it drives me. I know it's going to be bad. I know. Yes, I would like to supersize that. <laughs> And paper stone. <laughs> right. That's totally my famous last words. So they can go to your Facebook page, uh, which is famous last words. Don't be confused with the band. We'll put up a link on our site. Right. So for you not to be confused as to where you can share your stories. It'll say film, and you, movie, whatever. Okay, yeah. Make sure it's the documentary, not the band. Famous right. last words. It's on Facebook. We'll put up a link for you. And then also on there, he needs money to make this movie because mm-hmm. well, he is a local filmmaker. Well, and the thing is, is I've been in, I've been making films here in, the, in Kansas City for eight years now. Uh-huh. I could beg, borrow, and steal and shoot this movie for, you know, $125 for pizza. Uh-huh, right. I don't want to. You know, this is like, I, I'm really good at like fart jokes and, you know, scantily clad women movies. That's, uh-huh. that's my wheelhouse. <laughs> that's your money maker yeah, right that's, there? That's what All I right. do well. Oh, so you this, directed Hall Pass. <laughs> right. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so this is like my first real, like, hardcore, like, serious endeavor. Is it going to be serious? Or are you going to do it a la, like, uh, Michael Moore, who's, while he does serious subjects, are very entertaining to me and funny? Um, I don't plan on kind of making myself, you know, in be this, a part of it, you know, and it starts with my story with Bill, but I, it'll kind of only just be at the beginning or the end. OK, um, the, the crazy thing is, I honestly have no idea how long this is going to be. It could be a 20 minute project. It could be an hour and a half project. Could be two hours. Yeah. I think it you, depends what you get. And then it comes if it's longer, you have to balance between like all these morose like, oh, you know. Well, it is. It could be very depressing. And then there's really which is good because I've seen some documentaries that just kick my ass they blow me away they're right. just so good you don't expect it what's the one and you have to see it um the cove it's not the cove <laughs> it wasn't the cove i was actually disappointed in the cove i made like a big hype with the cove no um this guy he's supposed to be like all american marries this lady uh has a baby with her she kills him i don't know it and then uh so will somebody please text me the story oh i'll just google it oh uh, well, i'm totally giving the story away baby. too there's a twist at the end and they have a child and the grandparents know everybody knows that she killed their son and uh there's a little twist at the end it just kicks your ass there's so like documentaries can be so well done and so well made and i can't remember the name of it have you seen there's one called i think we're alone now have you seen that one uh-uh. it's about these two guys that are obsessed with tiffany from the 80s i heard about that <laughs> I one i've seen I've that heard one about it's like an one. hour and t- I, you i might have heard about it from you uh-huh. and it's like an hour and, a, and 10 minutes yes. and you're like oh, <laughs> it's hilarious wow. that's awesome yes yes yes, yes i remember so anyway, that one. let's talk about me some more okay let's talk about uh brian and famous last words do we want to take a few calls before yeah. uh danielle stop because play a song We'll take some calls. Five, okay, seven, five six, seven six seven uh, five seven six seven nine six five, or you may text us at nine six five zero zero. Famous last words. Dear Zachary, is that the name of the documentary? No, no. Is it, oh, dear Zachary. Yeah. It might be dear Zachary. Uh-huh. 
because uh, the brother the brother did the documentary. You have to see Dear Zachary. Okay, I'm writing it. But now. don't drink or anything. <laughs> don't, don't, I'm just telling you, he's just gonna kick your ass <laughs> when you see Dear Zachary. He's just gonna kick your ass. But let me focus on famous last words. Um, I, I would like to know more about fame uh, i had like good stories would and you, bad stories would you take a su- semi supernatural story are you interested in that at all well you know that's the thing is i think there's a there's a portion of this about um you know the dreams that you have i have bill dreams all the time do you yeah uh, to where and, and they went away does he for, talk to you i wouldn't it's always the same dream over and over and it changed a little bit recently it was always like i'd go back to the dorms i'd turn the corner bill was there and i'd say what are you doing? We we thought you were, you know, we thought you were dead, you stupid effer. And he, right. he's like, well, I went away and now I'm back. And I pick him up and I grab him, I hug him and I say, I love you. And he says, I know. And then I wake up. Huh. Every time. Okay. okay. When my grandfather passed and this, I was, I had failed out of college, two non-consecutive semesters. I'm, I'm shocked to hear that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Um, and I was living in Salt Lake City, sleeping on somebody's sofa at the time. And I got super drunk one night, passed out, had a dream about my grandfather, we were swimming in Mrs. Clark's pool. We were all kids. He was younger. I was younger. We were all swimming. And he pulls down his newspaper because he wasn't paying attention. We could drown for all he knew, you know. But right. And he pulls down his newspaper and he looks at me and he says, don't worry about me. I'm fine. You take care of your grandmother. I wake up. My phone is ringing. My mom tells me my grandfather died. I moved from Salt Lake City to Kansas because of that dream, because of that. Wow. And then I... Worked at Starbucks for a couple of years and then stumbled into this gig. Yeah, yeah. Sad, sad day. Blame, yeah. Sad day. Blame you want my grandfather. About, you want to talk about sad stories? <laughs> right there, he ruined wow, my life. That bastard. Tragic. See, yeah. my famous so. last words, and that is Dear Zachary. That documentary. Yeah. If you're ready for that one, take it. But I'm I'm expecting famous last words to be up there with Dear Zachary. That's a lot of pressure, Brian Boy. Local. It better be on Netflix. Let's, you better do Netflix. Gonna, I, Thank Netflix God for going, Netflix. That's why the only reason I watch any kind of documentary. I, oh, I love it. I love is it. It's the best thing ever. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So, uh, stories for my friend Brian Boy. Famous last words 5767965 here at the Buzz. Like to text? Text us anytime, day or night at 96500. 96500. Texting. A cool way for us to interact without ever having to speak to each other. The Alternative 96.5 The Buzz. Incubus on The Alternative 96.5 The Buzz. Your big fat morning buzz. Fentry Danny Boy joining us this morning. Local filmmaker Brian Boy. And he's working on a documentary called Famous Last Words. And he needs your help if he needs stories, basically. And then a little bit of money to film it, too. Maybe. Will you turn his mic on, Danny Boy? It is on. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, I reset the... Hold on, yeah, yeah, Hold yeah. on a minute. I reset the board. So okay. Already, really quickly before uh, Brian joins us, uh, his documentary, Famous Last Words, was inspired by your best friend, uh, something you had said to him, and then obvi- it was a sheer accident he had passed on. Mm-hmm. But what you said to him was awesome. Yeah, the last words I said to my friend Bill was, I, I miss you, I love you. And he said, I love you too. And then, you know, we like we parted ways and four weeks four weeks later he disappeared. Right. And they didn't find him for two years. So You um, have to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I'm really fortunate about that. And and it's just it's you know, it's it's just kind of luck. And I, right. I think that it, I'm very mindful of when I'm driving through the triangle and I'm talking with my wife on the phone and you know, and, uh-huh. and I'm mad at her because you know, the kids are going crazy and I can't do anything about it. Right. I'm very mindful to say, okay, I'll be home in a little bit. I love you. I'm very mindful of doing things like that because who knows driving through the triangle, you know, well, just because it it happened to your friend too, but you're right. It could happen. It happens to everybody at any minute. It could be over. And it's, you know, what happened with the people when they left to go to work at Joplin. Right. You know, you're right. They, you know, a lot of people lost their, what did they say? Absolutely. What were their last words to each other? And that's what your documentary is about. And that's what you're looking for is stories from obviously the Kansas City metropolitan area and how people live their lives as a result of what happened. Okay. For good or for bad. I gotcha. Because I fear mine will be terrible. (laughs) It will be. (laughs) Yeah. Probably will be, won't be. It's a great experience. Uh, Brian's looking for your stories. You can go to his Facebook page, which is Famous Last Words, and we'll put up a link for you up on our site, 965thebuzz.com. Hello, The Buzz. Hi. Um, I've got a story for you. Famous Last Words. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Brian's looking for stories, so head on over to his Facebook page, which we'll have a link up on our site as well. Uh, yeah. Because he's looking for other people to film to tell their stories. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, who were you talking to? Okay. It was, well, it was my best friend. And um, we were on a float trip. This was four years ago, actually, today. And um, he had really bad asthma and had a 
asthma attack, went into anaphylactic shock. And I just remember him saying, I, you know, like gasping for air and saying, you know, I'm dying. And I said, no, Travis, just breathe, just breathe. And that was it. And he passed out and there was nothing we could do. Yeah, if anybody could take one thing away from this whole thing is just be positive, even if you were angry at somebody. Like the next time a Fentra pours water on Jeremy's bagel and tells us all to go to hell, <laughs> as she walks out, the very least she could be like, I enjoy your company. I and love you. That, that's say the something, when you say something negative, say something positive. Yes. I won't do that. Thank you. Uh, Hello, the buzz. Yeah, you guys were talking about that famous last word. Yeah, we're actually, we've got uh, Brian and he's a local filmmaker, and he needs stories to film about famous last words, the last words you said to someone uh, well, before they died. Me and my cousin got in an argument about 12 o'clock in the morning, and I told him, I said, man, why don't you do yourself a favor and go hang yourself? Do, well, do everybody a favor and go hang yourself. 10 o'clock the next morning, they found him hanging in his parents' garage. Wow. That is f- up. That is not okay. No, it's not. Yeah, that's got a way, ha- and you didn't mean it. No, we're, we were we were mad. We were arguing, and he says, "And I, I mean, we were." I said it out of anger, and next thing you know, I get I get a phone call the next morning. And they're like, "Have you seen your cousin?" I'm like, "No." And they're like, about twenty minutes later, they call me and they said they found him hanging in the garage. That's crazy. You he, you know you hear of that on occasion, but for you to do that, I feel like God. That is terrible. I will be that person, well, sir. I feel bad. How do you how do you live your life going forward now? How how has that affected you going forward? That's only one disaster of many that's taken part in my life. <laughs> All right, sir. Way to keep it positive. <laughs> that's good to learn from your mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 